Mrs. Lord leave me on. It used to be your great grandma's favorite you're, song. You're my great grandma. Mm -hmm. So it's your favorite song. It was her song. No, you're my great grandma. No, well, you. I'm your grandmother. She was your great grandmother. She my mother. No, you're my great grandma because my grandmother's Jackie. Jack. It goes. Oh. Yeah, you're my great grandma. Well, your great great grandma. <laughs> Let the words of the Lord fall on me. My name is Bernice Milvick Cardell Turner. And I am, ooh, I forgot how old I am. Wait a minute, let me count. Ninety years old. Everybody just loves having her around. She's bubbly. She's fun to be with. She can mix with any um, group, the young, the old, the middle age. Um, she has good conversation with them. Um, she loves to dance. So they just enjoy her company. So sometime after 2005, the Demetra came on. Um, it's not like at stage four. I would say still beginning stages because there are people that can have a conversation with her and never even know that she has dementia. Well, what was your job at the post office? I'm doing that now. But see, I used to, we were supposed to throw uh, four trays an hour. Go ahead with your bad self. And when I got tired, I just crossed my legs and went to sleep. <laughs> And the supervisor, if he looked and saw me, the postmaster standing around nearby, he would get upset. Oh, I better wake up. He comes to line, the postmaster say, leave her a damn long. She stick more mail than anybody I ever seen in the post office. And when you check her case, ain't a piece gone wrong. All right. I might, I might. My case stayed full from top to bottom. It was about this wide and about this tall. That's taller than you. I know, but we had uh, <laughs> stools. stools. Yeah. But most of the time, the stool was too short. If I sat on it, I just <laughs> stood up and told them it. See, here come one of them funny moments. <laughs> Here's a picture of my grandmother and I. Um, in June of 2005. Um, you can see that she wasn't blind in one eye. She wears a patch now, but back then she did not wear a patch. She did not walk with a cane, um, and she did not have dementia. Because she does need round the clock, just having someone around um, we were fortunate enough my uncle her son has come to live with us to be her daycare provider so this was very helpful my grandmother would get up in the morning wash up get dressed my uncle would prepare her coffee or tea um, pre prepare her medicines for her to take um, prepare breakfast and that could be any given day. She might be hungry and may not be hungry. So, um, and then later on, her and Uncle Lou would play cards all rest of the evening, <laughs> afternoon. Then she may eat a little lunch. And by the time I get home, 4.30, 5 o'clock, I take over and I just double check how her day went. And around 6.30, 7 o'clock, I'll ask her to go wash up so we can eat dinner. She eats dinner. Um, I give her her evening meds. Um, and two hours from there, we're back in bed. She may boil an egg. And for herself, she's trying to cool it all. And she'll put it in the freezer. And she'll forget about it the entire day. <laughs> because I don't want her to do that, I will remove the knobs from the stove um, periodically. Oh, look what I found. Sometimes with self motivation, 
you will find half of a banana in the refrigerator. Hmm. Now, she's not going to eat this, so I'm about to throw this away. So this is a picture of my grandmother. Um, we used this picture for her 90th birthday celebration. And as many people that could sign it, we had them sign it. And um, we will just keep this and cherish it. She has outlived three of her own children and several of her family members, siblings, nieces, nephews, cousins. Um, she will greatly be missed. Um, but she's lived a wonderful life wonderful long life god has only promised us 70 years she's outlived it over 20 and i see 10 more years coming down the road for her